The fact that uh, Mr. Kenny was really pushed out of office by opponents in his own party, more on the right than on the left, uh, indicates that uh, there is a shift going on here, at least a shift within the United Conservative Party. Uh, whether it means a lot in terms of how Alberta will vote in the next election, which is less than a year from now, if we go, if we abide by the uh, by the fixed election date that the UCP put in place uh, when they, when they modified Alison Redford's legislation that uh, that had that had a fixed election period of three months. So you know how significant the change is depends on a whole bunch of factors. Uh, I mean, there's a lot there's a lot of people uh, campaigning to replace. Mr. Kenny, that some of them are official candidates now, that some of them are not. Uh, yeah, I thought, you know, when we when I started thinking about this and I sat down here to get my mind in the right space for this conversation, I said, well, I'm going to note down all the names on a piece of paper. Well, now the page is full of, hmm. with people that are were rumored to be in and 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 are out, or people that are are uh, possibly going to be in but haven't actually formally declared themselves yet. There's um, so it's it's hard to say just how significant this is going to be, but my guess is my best guess is that uh, we'll see either even a further rightward shift on the part of the UCP uh, or a steady as she goes, much more of the same, but with a milder figurehead at the top. I think the two leading candidates. I'm not bold enough to really to declare one of them a, a front runner, but are Brian Jean, the former leader of the Wild mm-hmm. Rose Party. Uh, and uh, Travis Taves, whose name looks like Toes, but it's uh, one of those German names that's pronounced not quite the same as it appears. And and Mr. Taves is a well. I think that polit- I think that ideologically he's very close to Kenny, uh, although he's he's he claims that he's not a career politician, and and actually up to now that would appear to be true. But if he if he is not a career politician, he's not a, he's a non career politician in a position to become one if he becomes the leader of the party.